How can you look at me and see my well, devastation and still? Your devastation? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me, Gary? Yeah. You never cared for her. Oh, she wants you was your fucking... Well, what, I she... don't know, your laptop. Yeah. yeah, you're a victim, Gary, because I swear, the things that you made her do, I don't know how you could have had anything but contempt for her. The things we did, the, the things we did were consensual. No. And if they weren't, then they should have. She couldn't have. She should have. That's her fucking problem, isn't it, Adele? Was, Gary. What? Was her fucking problem. She did. No, I know she is. Let me tell you something. Can I... Go on. Can I tell you something? Yeah. All right, sit down, will you? What? Sit down for a minute. No, I won't sit down for a minute, no. All right, all right. So I did, like, sometimes, fair enough, not treat her right. I'll admit it. Right. I'm admitting it right, but can I tell you the truest thing, Adele? And this comes from the bottom of my heart, all right? Okay. Sometimes a person loves another person so much so and needs that love returned. All right? So much so that they, yes, they mistreat that person. Do you know why? Right. And this is me, I'm saying, well, because deep inside they don't believe they're worthy in love. Right. And so they... Gary. I'm telling you. And so they continually push and test and mistreat that person. And then they say to themselves, well, you know, if she can put up with it, you know, if she can put up with it, then maybe she does. What? Love me. I mean, maybe she actually does love me. I mean, I know it's a terrible way to treat a person I do, but it comes from the seriously, the deepest insecurity, the deepest terror of not being loved. I've not been loved, like I said, not been worthy of love. And I know because, Gary, what? Just stop, would you? The hell? Do you know something? There's always a straw. A straw? Yeah, a final straw, Gary. And to fucking hell with your insecurities. I mean, you could have cut her fucking arm off and she would have gone to the ends of the earth for you. You could have plucked her eyes out. I mean, because she loved you. And I loved not, her. To an unbelievable fucking degree and proved it a thousand times over from what she endured from you. Yeah. From what she suffered from you, Gary. But the one thing you have to understand is the reward for that sufferance. The only thing that made her capable of it was the fact that you were hers. Do you, uh, do you understand? No. It was the fact that you belonged to her, Gary. To her. And as long as you did, well... Do you know why she killed herself? Why? Because she knew she'd lost you. What? That's why. Because she knew she'd lost me? Yes. Well, she hadn't lost me. What the hell are you talking about? Who was the other girl? I don't know. Donna? Is that her fucking name? Oh, Jesus, that was just a fucking suggestion. Well, that suggestion, did it, Gary, share you with her? Yeah. Are you fucking mad? Did you love her? Donna. Yes. No, I didn't give a fucking shit about Donna. Well, Belinda told me otherwise. What? Belinda told me you said you were in love with that her. That I said? Yeah. Well, that's fucking bullshit. I mean, oh, I told her maybe on. I cared for so, the girl, but love her, no. Why did you want them? Why did Belinda you absolutely you? I told you. I needed to. It was a test. Right. To confirm. Her love for you. Yes. Do you get me now? I test it. Yes. This is so fucked up, I know. It is. But do you know what that is, Adele? It's a purging. Oh, what? To admit all this, to confess, it's a purging. And I know this may sound completely fucking mad, but I'm grateful. <laughs> to, yes, for the opportunity, to you for giving me. I know because, Sorry. what? Can I ask you a really serious question? Yeah, of course you can. Do you have some sort of fucking autism or something? What the hell are you talking about? Something that prevents you from seeing beyond yourself. Like when someone's in pain, uh, can you see that they're in pain? Of course I can. Does that mean anything to yes. you? Yes. Then how can you be so fucking cruel and so self-fucking-centred? Fuck you, I told you! What did you tell Forget me? Forget it, I'm not telling you yeah, again! You killed her! You made her like a fucking misery, a daily fucking misery, and then you killed her. And you know you fucking did. You're a fucking Fuck scumbag. Fuck you. You're a fucking disgrace. And you're a fucking bitch. Do you know what? Maybe I am. And do you know what? If you were in any way capable of shame, which I can see or not, you'd be hanging your fucking head right now. No, you wouldn't be here. You, could, you wouldn't be able to show your fucking face. Can you please go? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Fair enough. I loved her. So you keep insisting. I did. And what she's done is going to haunt me for the rest of my fucking Oi. days. And you know what, Del? You're the one who's autistic. If you can't show me sympathy for or understanding, you know, of anyone else's pain. You're the one who's fucked up. <laughs>